Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create coupons in Magento 2. So I'll be showing you how the customers can apply a coupon code in the cart and at the time of checkout to get a discount, which can be of percentage of the product price, fixed amount discount or fixed amount discount for the whole cart. Apart from that, we'll also see how the admin can create the coupon codes from the admin backend panel and the co coupon codes can be manually set up or can be generated automatically as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial for how to create the coupons in Magento 2, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the storefront of the Magento 2 web store and here I'm having different products. So I've created a coupon code for a fixed uh, discount there. Let me show you that. Uh, so for that, I'll just log into the admin backend panel first. And after logging into the admin backend panel, what the admin can do is he can navigate to uh, the marketing section there. And under marketing section, he'll be able to create the uh, coupon codes. So if I go to the marketing section here, I can go to the promotions and under promotions, we'll go to the card price rules. So under the card price rules, we'll be able to create the uh, coupon codes and we can set up the actions uh, that can be performed and the conditions that should be applicable for applying the discount coupon code. So here you can see that I've uh, created a discount coupon code of discount $20. As you can see with the coupon code uh, as discount 20, it's active right now. So if I open it up, let me show you that so let me open it up and uh, just give me a second for that so I'm going to open this up so this is the edit product edit page for the uh, coupon code so here what I've done is I've given the rule name I've set the description I've set the website as the main website I've set it as active here I've said uh, that this particular coupon code should be applicable to these customer groups like not logged in, general, general and wholesale. I've chosen coupon as specific coupon here and coupon code is discount 20. So this has to be applied by the customer there at the storefront. So let me copy it up and you can also use auto generation uh, of the coupon codes if I check this up so rest of the things i've set up and under the conditions what i've done is i've set whether if the tot subtotal of the cart is 321 dollars there then i've set the action as fixed amount discount should be applied so we can uh, apply a percentage of the product price discount fixed amount discount or fixed amount discount for the whole cart as well so i've chosen it as fixed amount discount and i've set it as discount amount as 20 dollars there and uh, this is a basic uh, configuration for the uh, coupon code there and then I've tapped here on the save button. Now if I add a product that's of the price of $321 as you can see here and I try and add it to the cart there. After adding it to the cart I can go to the view and edit cart section as a customer and I can basically see this particular section to apply the discount coupon code here. right? So the discount coupon code can be applied by the customers at the checkout time as well. So we are right now applying the discount coupon code in the cart itself. So right now you can see that the subtotal is uh, $321 here, $321. So if I tap here on the apply discount coupon code and I enter the discount coupon code as discount 20 and I apply the discount there on the cart there, so you'll be able to see that the discount would be applied and we'll be able to see the same. So you can see that you used coupon code uh, discount 20 and here you can see that the discount has been given. The discount applied is $20 that was set up as fixed there and now the customer just needs to pay $301 there. Now one more thing is there for example if I go ahead and I choose it as percentage of the product price and I set it to ten dollars uh, ten percent there let me set it to ten percent uh, just give me a second for that so right now we have set the action as if uh, we have set the condition as if the subtotal is 321 
and if the uh, action under the action we have said uh, to apply the percentage of the product price discount there and the discount amount has been set as 10 percent let me save this up so after saving it up now if i refresh this particular page here or the shopping cart page you'll see that we'll get a particular discount of 320 32.10 dollars 32.10 dollars that's the 10 percent of the product price itself right so this was how the customers can apply the, the discount coupon codes at the time of uh, or in the uh, shopping cart there and can uh, do the same at the time of uh, checkout as well so for example for the checkout let me show you how we can do that uh, for example we had said the uh, condition as if the cart total is or the cart subtotal is 321 now let me remove this out and let me set it as for example we can choose with the cart attributes here as uh, if the condition as subtotal is exclusive of text inclusive of text subtotal total items in the con uh, total item quantity there in the cart total weight payment method shipping method shipping postcode shipping region so for example let me choose it as payment method if the payment method is for example i'll choose it as cash on delivery then the action should be the percentage of the product price discount there that is ten dollars right that is ten percent of the product price there let's save it up after the rule has been saved now if i go to the front end as a customer and i uh, proceed further to the checkout there as a guest you can see that there is no coupon code applicable here i have entered the details here uh, for the shipping address we can also choose the shipping address whether if the selected in the condition we can set if the selected shipping method is this and if that particular shipping method is selected by the customer then the particular coupon code would be applicable there now let's tap here on the next button and uh, here uh, let me go and let me cancel the coupon code actually the cash and delivery is selected that's why the discount was being shown here in the card if i set it as check money order for example and i enter the discount coupon code here discount 20 and i try and apply it you can see that the particular discount coupon co code is not applicable on the card there right now let me tap here on the apply discount coupon once again the coupon code isn't valid you can see it's showing that it's not valid but if i go with the cash on delivery there because the condition has been set as for the cash on delivery now if I enter the coupon code and tap here on the apply discount we can see that the discount coupon code has been successfully applied and we have got a 10% discount on the product price there and thereafter the customer can proceed further to the checkout to place the order there and get the discount there as per the requirement itself. So this was the workflow on the customers and now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin can create the coupon codes from the admin backend panel. For that what you need to do is you need to navigate to marketing and then card price rules and uh, under the card price rules you can add a new uh, card price rule here by tapping on the add new rule so under the card price rule we will be adding a coupon code for the rule that we are going to create for example let's set it as discount 10 we can set the discount 10 dollars uh, let's set it as discount 10 discount ten dollars let me set the description as the same we'll set it as active as the rule we'll choose the website where we want to apply the particular one we'll choose the customer groups for whom this particular rule would be applicable now here we have the option to create the coupon so from here we can create the coupon as no coupon or specific coupon so we'll go with the specific coupon so if we go with the specific coupon we can choose the coupon code here as uh, per the requirement there so for example if I set it as discount 10 then this discount coupon code needs to be applied by the customer 
in the cart or at the checkout time depending upon the condition uh, set by the admin there and you can also auto generate uh, use auto generation as well so if you select and save the rule you will be able to generate multiple coupon codes so for now let's see how we can do this so we will go with the auto generation in the normal one if we are not selecting this then we have to enter the coupon code name uh, then we have to set the uses per coupon uses per customer uh, and the uses uh, uses per customer is only for the logged in customers there then we have to choose the start date end date for the coupon code applicability uh, the priority of the coupon code then under the conditions you can choose or uh, from multiple conditions as we can see we can choose subtotal exclusive tax subtotal inclusive tax subtotal total item quantity total weight payment method shipping method shipping postcode shipping region shipping state province shipping country uh, right so using that we can create a particular uh, uh, what we say as this uh, coupon code condition there then for example if we set it as total items in the quantity is one then what action needs to be taken under the actions we can choose percentage of the product price discount should be given fixed amount discount should be given or fixed amount discount for the whole cart should be given as per the requirement there so let's choose it as percentage of the product price or fixed amount discount and we can set the fixed amount as for example $21 so $21 would be given as the discount if the total items in the quantity is one and the coupon code discount 10 has been applied by the customer uh, within the cart there right so you can all go with this or you can use the auto generation as well for the coupon codes if you use auto generation then you have to go to the manage coupon codes section and enter the coupon quantity that you want to generate the coupon length uh, the code prefix if you want to set any prefix for the code or the suffix and then you need to tap here on the generate one so okay so we have to basically give the rule as well uh, okay so before generating this uh, auto uh, what we say as the manage coupon code section here uh, before generating the coupon code we need to save the particular uh, card price rule that we are creating for the coupon there and then we'll come back to the particular one and then we'll come down to the particular section there for the coupon code generation manage coupon codes here we'll give the coupon code quantity uh, code prefix uh, tap on the generate button and this will generate the coupon code as you can see here and the message has been added to the queue wait to get your coupon soon so in a few moments from now the coupon codes will be generated there so that was about the uh, auto coupon code generation and how we can create a coupon code very easily within the uh, Magento 2 backend by navigating through marketing uh, card price rules create the right card price rule and give the rule information like uh, discount 10 description set it as active set the website where it should be applicable set the customer group to whom this discount would be applicable to set the coupon as specific coupon choose whether you want to auto generate the coupon code or you can set up a particular one as per your own requirement set the users per coupon and the users per customer there choose the from and to validity of the coupon code there then under the conditions set the condition as per the requirement there uh, from the drop down for the cart attribute you can choose the uh, particular one here as the condition and then under the actions you can choose whether you want to give the percentage of the product price discount or fixed amount discount or fixed amount discount for the whole cart there set uh, the discount amount applicable as per the chosen option here for the apply whether this one this one or this one and depending upon that you can give the discount amount here and then you have to uh, there is none of the settings uh, that need to be done uh, apart from that yes you can also go ahead and basically go to the label section and here you can set the label that will be visible to the customers here so here you can see the discount is visible uh, by default but the discount applied thing that you are seeing here uh, would come from the default label for all store views that you have set up or you can set up the default table for the store view specific labels can be also set up as per your own requirement there so yes that was much about how to create the coupons in magento 2 and i hope that it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same 
and I showed you how the customers can apply the coupon codes in the cart and at the time of checkout there and how the admin would be able to create the coupon codes from the admin backend panel there. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.qvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.